Welcome to SysPro Tips from Positive Vision. This video will show you how to customize your SysPro workspace backdrop. I will show you in SysPro 8, but you can also use these same steps for version 7. Now when you log into SysPro, you might notice that there's a workspace backdrop or you might not have one at all. It's customizable to help you know that you're logging into the correct company and it also lets you add your own personal touch to your SysPro client. In case this isn't enabled for you, I'm going to quick show you an example by logging into the company. So I'm going to choose switch company and go ahead and choose login. And here's that workspace backdrop that pops up. Now that's one that I've picked. If you guys are working with the EDU company, you probably are seeing the outdoor company and it's tiled. So I've had a couple people ask me, how do you change that? Because they'd rather have it be something else. In order to do that, when you log in, you need to have the ability to access the personalize menu up here in the ribbon bar. Once you click on that, it's going to go ahead and pop up the personalize menu and we can choose to display a bitmap image. If this is unchecked, when you switch companies, you would see nothing. So I can go ahead and I can choose a different one. I can choose to tile it, which is why we saw that green background image all the way across, or I can choose not to. I can say that the background that I choose here is for this company only. Now this is super useful if you've got like a sandbox or a test company, and then you've got your live company, and you wanna make sure you don't get confused on which one you're logging into. So having those be really different is a great prompt to say, oh, oops, I logged into the wrong one. So, you know, I recommend using that if you're doing multiple companies. Um, and let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how we can change these settings. Now, I can go ahead and I can use one of the little default ones that comes with SysPro. But maybe I don't really want the ones that they have. Maybe I would like to use my company logo or I have my own picture that I'd like to use. An important thing is to note that it has to be a bitmap image, which means it must end in the extension .bmp. So if it's a JPEG, you'll have to open it up in a photo editing program or even paint and do a save as to get it into being a bitmap image. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click cancel right now and we're going to go see where we need to put that file. So when I have a bitmap image and I'm ready to use it, I need to go and put it into my SysPro base and then the DS images folder. This folder stores all of those pictures that SysPro already is using and is made available. It also lets me put my own in there. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down and I put two of my own in there. There are company logos and I've got a small one that I could tile and I've got an extra large one that I might just want to have a single one in the middle of that splash screen instead of tiling it. It's important to note how I've named these because I must call out those names exactly in the file that we're going to access next. So putting it in here is just a one piece of the puzzle. So we're going to put the picture in here, but then we need to tell SysPro how to find it and what it's called. The file that you're going to need in order to do that is located in the base folder. And we're going to go down to the user.icn file. Now by default, .icn probably isn't going to open up a program. So when you double click on it, it may ask you how you want to open it. I chose Notepad because it's a nice simple way to be able to edit the information in there. So when I double click it, out pops the information in Notepad. When you first open it, what you're going to see is you're going to see a file that looks like this and it's completely blank. In order to tell SysPro how to get to those bitmaps that you just put into the folder, you're going to have to do two things. You're going to have to say what you want it to be called in the SysPro screen. So when you go into SysPro and hit the little drop down to pick one, that's what it's going to say. Then I have to have a colon and I have to tell it where 
to go find that file. You'll notice that it starts at the DS images under SysPro. So to keep things simple, I would recommend keeping them in the same location instead of trying to put them off somewhere else. But you could redirect it or have another subfolder below DS images that you could store them in to keep them separate. Another important thing to note is if your file name for your bitmap is longer than eight characters for the name and three characters for the extension, you have to enclose it in the quotations. That's going to make sure that SysPro can pick it up and use it. Otherwise, you're going to get some errors when you try to pick that one from the menu list, and it gets a little difficult to work around those errors. So just kind of keep in mind that, you know, either keep it short, meaning eight characters or less, dot, and then the dot BMP. And then if you do absolutely need to go longer, like I did here, always put them in the quotations. Once you've put this information into the file, similar to how I've got it. Now keep in mind the spacing here isn't a fixed width. You can put as many spaces as you want. This was just to make it a little easier to read. Go ahead and save and exit. So I've got my user ICN file pointing to my images down here in my DS image folder. You can see these match. So now I'm ready to go. So if I go back to SysPro, after I make those changes, I have a tendency to want to just make sure that it picks up those changes. I will switch the company or log out and log back in to make sure that any of those changes that I've made to those system files are actually picked up and processed. It's just a really good habit to get into when you're making system changes. Now that we're back to the SysPro screen, we're going to hit the Personalize button. And we're going to click the drop down. And if we scroll down, it's down at the bottom. Now, the way you're going to see this is you will always see the stock SysPro images first and your custom images second. So I can choose that I want the small. And it'll give you a little snippet of it. That's not what it's actually going to look like. It will bring the entire thing in. And I can say that I want to tile it. And I'm going to say save it for this company only. And say OK. Now I'm going to switch companies and go right back into the same one to make sure I'm happy with what it looks like. You can see we've got the tiling going on. It is a little noisy, so maybe I don't want to have it where it's tiling my logo. Maybe I'd rather just have a single large logo in the center. So let's go ahead and give that a test. Let me choose Personalize. And I'm going to go down to the Extra Large, and I'm going to say Don't Tile It. And say OK. And now let's switch companies and log in. Now we can see that one big logo that I put in there. Something that's really important to be aware of. If you've picked an image like I just did and that image is in use, so I just picked that Positive Vision Extra Large logo, don't change the name of that image in the bitmap or in the um, file. So if you go into the user ICN and you change that name while this is in use, SysPro is going to become very confused because it actually has a separate place that it stores what picture it's supposed to use. So if you change the name in the user ICN or you change the name of the bitmap, it breaks that link and you have no good way to fix it unless you go and put it back. So definitely make sure that if you're going to make any modifications, switch to a different picture first, log out and log back in, make sure that it's actually switched, and then you can go in and edit your user ICN file 
or you know rename the bitmap and then change the user ICN file but everything has to be kept in sync thanks so much for your time and I hope you enjoyed our video